Today, I'm going to be working with my favorite papers. Welcome back, friends. So I have, I've been busy with all kinds of things and I've been doing a lot of jelly printing, but I haven't been doing any collage, not since my show. Uh, I was taking a little bit of a break, just making papers and various other things, but, and getting the studio set up properly. It's amazing how much you can accomplish when you're in a space that feels really comfortable. So, and it's also a lot easier to keep it a little bit neat because everything has a place now. How wonderful is that? So I decided to do an eight by 10 collage on wood panel. And since I get a lot of questions about how I prepare my panels for collage, I thought we would start there. So in the very beginning of the video, I explained that whole process and then we move forward. Now this is a really simple collage, like the simplest I think I've ever done. I, but I'm absolutely thrilled the way it came out. Let's get to it. So I get a lot of questions on how I prepare my wood panels. So today we are gonna do exactly that and then we're gonna follow it up with a small collage. So this first one that I pull out is not wrapped. The other ones are all individually wrapped so I can keep them wrapped while they're stored. And we're gonna work with the unwrapped one right now. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm, I'm moistening my brush first. You should always do that when working with acrylics. And I'm also going to wet down the top of the board. I just find it easier to, it then like grabs the uh, gel medium. And this is Liquitex um, gel medium, the gloss. And I'm gonna do the top and the sides. I'm not going to do multiple coats. I'm just going to do one coat, top, sides, and I'll be perfect for my gesso. So here's one I've, I completed a couple of months ago, and it's a collage with some gold leaf. And on the back, I added little bumpers to the bottom and a little sawtooth hanger for the top. And as you can see, it, it collages really nice on these wood boards, so I highly recommend these for collage. Depending on what you're going to do with your wood panel, you might want to uh, put multiple layers of gesso and sand in between if you like a really smooth surface. You know, maybe you're going to paint with oils on this or most acrylic, it doesn't really need to be that smooth. I mean, you're, you're gonna go over it with plastic, let's face it. So I'm gonna be collaging on this thing, so I only really need one coat of black gesso. But if I was going to be painting on this with acrylic, I almost don't, I don't like it to be too slick. I want it to have a little bit of tooth. So years ago, what I, I used to work on really large wood panels, and I came up with this system of where I would take the black gesso and I would mix it with natural sand by Liquitex. This has a really fine sand grain to it. And I would just spoon it out of here and mix it with, with the black gesso in, a, in another container, mix it up and then paint it on, and it would give it a nice tooth. It also had a really, it just had a really interesting texture to the wood. I thought it was great. So um, that's another thing you could do. There's all kinds of, um, you know, texture gels. There's some that have like a little, they almost look like little glass beads. You might like that texture. There's all kinds of things you could do with this. And I myself, because I'm going to collage on this, this is not good for collage, but this is good if you're going to paint. So keep that in mind. How you fix, you know, set up your, your wood panel depends on what you're going to do with it. I'm going to be collaging. I want a somewhat flat surface, but it, uh, you're not going to see the gesso. Um, 
between the sealing that I did with the gel medium and now what I'm going to do with the black gesso, that will be enough, um, you know, to prevent any, I, I don't even remember what they call, I'll put the term in the description below, but it, it prevents um, the wood, I guess, to discolor um, your paint. I don't know if it discolors paper or not. I've never had that problem when I didn't seal the wood first. Uh, this kind of seals it as well, but this is double duty here. And but I have never had like white papers go yellow on me or anything like that from the wood. So that's and and you could also seal the backside. This is a deep cradle. It's not going to warp. You know, I didn't bother with the um, sealing the backside. Now, if you're just using a really thin board, like, you know, less than a quarter of an inch, you might want to seal both sides. Um, another thing I used to do instead of buying expensive wood cradles, because I was doing a grant show and I needed to do a lot of paintings, I would actually go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they had pre-cut 24 by 24 uh, plywood that was birch on, on one side, like a beautiful finish of birch on one side. Of course, the edge is like a plywood edge, but I would do this sand, black gesso, mixed, mixed with the black gesso over that plywood. And then the finished painting would go into a um, floater frame. I mean, it was gorgeous. I mean, you, you could not, it was heavy. <laughs> I will say, really heavy. Dropped one on my foot once. That was not fun. But um, but it was a great surface to work on. And it saved me a lot of money because the large deep cradle boards that I was working on at the time, I think were $100 a piece. And um, those plywood things were really cheap. I can't remember what they were at the time, but they were very inexpensive. And so I did a lot of 24 by 24s with those. Anyway, <laughs> I am now going to, once this dries completely, it's still feeling a bit cool. It's like damp. It doesn't feel, it's just a little bit tacky. I could probably do it right now, but I'm going to wait until it fully dries. Then we're going to put on a coat of black gesso. Okay, so I'm going to put my panel on top of two jars of paint just so I can paint the edges easily without having to um, have my board stick to the table. So as you can see I'm using a foam brush and I just prefer it. Um, it really doesn't make a difference if you have a really good brush uh, for this purpose, you could you could use that as well. It also depends on what kind of um, if you want brush strokes or you don't want brush strokes. If I was doing the sand mixture, I probably would use a brush. I don't think the um, foam brushes really work too too well with that. Okay, so I am planning an 8x10 collage on this, this board and I pulled out oh my goodness so much paper even these um, things from potatoes I love this um, this texture I have yet to use it but I have it in both a yellowish color and in this reddish pink color um, not sure if I'm going to use it today, but I was going in a completely different direction. I was going to do these kinds of shades and mix in some yellows and reds and I don't know. It was all over the place. It was super busy and I'm not feeling it today. So <laughs> that is just not working for me. So I'm putting this away. And I'm kind of starting over. And I'm feeling a little bit more muted today. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm still having trouble talking. So that's frustrating. 
Um, I have worked in some really beautiful uh, neutral papers recently. I almost hate to cut into them, but I'm really thinking like this one, really beautiful pieces up here. But this was a cleanup sheet, also beautiful. So this could work. And this sheet is absolutely stunning. It was also probably a cleanup sheet from when I was doing postcards. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's like a, a mishmash of things. It looks like it was cleaning up. Um, various prints and I love all these these subtle things that are going on underneath I even like the little frames so I'm thinking I'm going to try to cut around here because I want to keep this I love that but I don't like this blue and I don't know if I want to pair it up with this one or with this one I don't know, that, that is such a beautiful paper, but maybe the colors are wrong. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. Hmm. Then I'm thinking I'm going to do like a two-thirds, one-third, and then maybe just have some really other really subtle things going on. I'm not really sure. That might be all it needs that to start with and I've done this before but I get really excited when I see the paint on my stencils <laughs> oh my god so I love the way especially these two look with the, with this color but also this one because this is also picking up you know some of these rustier colors here so I'm thinking I'm just going to glue these to the top and I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that composition is going to be just yet, but they're going to go off the sides. Um, and it's, you know, going to, I'm going to have to seal it really good because this is paint on, on a mylar and it could peel off. So I'm going to have to seal it really good. Might even resin this piece that that'll really take care of it. But anyway, that's, that's kind of, my thoughts today is I just want to keep it really simple. Um, okay, the other the other option that I have is I could just use this as a focal and just keep it really simple like that. That is also very beautiful. Um, don't I don't like this side with it. That this blue is wrong. This is picking up this. I'm not, I'm not wild about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to get these two papers down first and then we'll see if we want to do anything other than that. I may play off of this, this side somehow, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't even know where I'm going to, I'm very unsure today. Can you tell? Um, another paper that I have is here. This is a deli paper that's, this was a cleanup as well. Um, I tend to like my cleanup sheets more than I do my prints. <laughs> what does that say about me? But anyway, um, I don't know. Can, can this uh, help, help composition at all? I don't think so. Anyway, let us get started with these two papers. We'll get them glued down, and then we will see where we're going to go from there. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting around here and see if I can... I don't know if I should tear it. Should I try to tear it around there? That might be more natural. Am I ruining it? Yeah, that might be a little bit better. I just can't get it from that angle. I can't grab the paper the way I want to. And you know, if I get a little bit of a white edge, it's okay because I'm going against a 
really light. Right, let's see. Yeah, I like that. I'm getting, a lot of, I'm getting a lot of bumps, but I think it will probably still dry flat, in my experience anyway. I am loving this very sort of old world wall look about this. When I trim off the edges, I think, ugh. Anyway, it's beautiful. Like this, this hard line is bothering me. But if maybe if I line it up with something, it doesn't bother me so much. So I'm seeing we have a hard line here, hard line there. We have a hard line here and a hard line there. Actually, that doesn't, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? If I line them up. Oh my God, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to let this completely dry before I attempt to glue that down. And I'm wondering if I need anything else, like even the most subtle, um, the most subtle little thing. Let me see. I just want to try a couple of things before I decide that uh, that it's good the way it is. Let me just no, I think I'm just going to ruin it. Sometimes you have to leave things alone. These accidents that happened here, um, they they make this whole thing. So um, a lot of times when you're when you're when you're <laughs> gluing two papers in a stencil, you feel like, oh my God, you know, is this art? But the truth of the matter is, um, 
it's it's the eye it's the eye that chose I'm still having trouble with these edges coming down. it's the the fact that that you chose those papers and that the simplicity of it is so beautiful um, that sometimes you just have to get over yourself so we're going to let this dry we're going to trim it up and then we're going to see if this is um, perfect as is let's see okay this is this is getting flatter as it dries okay so it's, there was some glue around the edge so I'm just wiping that off with a paper towel and I'm angling my point my exact exacto blade into the panel so I'm using the panel as a ruler kind of and I'm just angling in slightly very slightly so the so the paper is right to the edge So these little pieces I'm going to keep because, I mean, look at that. I could definitely use that somewhere. Um, anyway, you never know when they need little pieces. This is just, I cannot believe how beautiful this paper was. Um, anyway, what did I do with that thing that I was going to glue on top? Here it is. Okay, so what I said I was going to do... So I was going to line, so we have a line here and a line here. So what I'm thinking of doing is gluing it right there. And that is working for me, most definitely. Okay, so um, probably should be using a thicker gel medium. I don't know if I have any. Yeah, I need to go get something thicker. Very hard. Okay, so here is heavy gloss medium. Now this should probably do it. The reason why um, I'm using this is because the thinner, especially since like the regular gel medium that I use from Liquitex um, is pretty thin and then I tend to thin it out even more. So this is a nice thick, it still dries clear. So it's called a thick clear drying acrylic medium. All right, so we are going to position this, like I said, this line and these little lines here and I don't know it just has to visually do it but let me, let me just see how off it is it's not really off all right so I'm going to take some of this get this get this down
So of course right now it looks very white, um, sort of cloudy, but it will dry clear. I'm going to trust them. Golden usually tells the truth. So I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to sign in the front or on the side. Sometimes I just sign like up the side on these small ones. And sometimes I, you know, I should be consistent, but I haven't, still haven't figured that out, <laughs> which I prefer. But I'm, I think I'm loving this. Hopefully I wake up tomorrow and still feel the same. These two papers are absolutely gorgeous and I didn't want to cover them up with anything else. Now I know we're not supposed to fall in love with anything and not want to cover it up but in this particular case that and this this is um this is doing it for me so i'll be back after this dries shows you show you what it looks like so yep it dried completely clear looks fantastic I am I'm so thrilled you know I was I put it across the room and was looking at it from a distance and I'm just I'm absolutely thrilled so I don't even know what to say it's just a, yeah it's fantastic anyway I haven't decided yet what kind of finish I'm gonna put on this but um, I said resin earlier but I don't think so I might just leave it or put um, I'm seeing some brush strokes where the heavy uh, medium was. So I might do more of that all over just to give it more of a painterly feel. Um, and then maybe follow that up with a satin varnish. So to do the sides as well with the uh, heavier matte medium. And then of course, um, I have to sign it. <laughs> So I, I really should decide where I'm going to sign it and how I'm going to sign it. If I do it here on the on the print, <clears throat> I'd like to mix up something that looks kind of like this this um, very dark blue, which is actually probably black underneath there. I don't know, but um, I'd like to mix something up that looks like that and use that um, to sign. Or I'll just sign on the side. The front is just so clean and so, like, I just want to leave it like this. So I think I will. I'll sign it on the side. I'm very indecisive today. But I made a good one today, so I'm very happy. Thank you for watching. As you can see, sometimes the simplest solution it can be absolutely stunning if you have the right papers. So anyway, keep that in mind. When you have a favorite paper that you don't want to tear up, <laughs> maybe just make it the folk. Maybe that's the most important thing at the whole collage. Um, anyway, give it a try. Uh, don't forget to create, inspire, and share. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. If you want to see more collage, here's another one that you might like. <laughs>